Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen again. What we're going to do now is take our butternut squash and make a really fabulous side dish out of it. So what you want to do, heat your, heat your skillet, whatever you're going to use, um, on like a medium heat. And then take about a tablespoon of butter and put in there. And then some olive oil. And olive oil is a good medium heat cooking oil, but not high heat. So you just want to do this to medium heat. So just add some olive oil. And again, you just kind of play with the amounts. I'll write down an amount for you to give you a baseline. And then what you want to do is you're going to add, let it melt, you're going to add some pecans. And again, um, you have to figure for how much squash you have. It's going to be the pecans, it's going to be cranberries, dried cranberries, and sage. And it's going to be really yummy. So I just put like a handful of, handful of pecans in there to begin with. Okay, maybe two handfuls. Okay, maybe two in a little bit, because I really like pecans. And get those, you want to get them just toasted a little bit. So it's all, when you're cooking, it's, um, again, if you really like something, put a lot in. If you don't, then don't put it in. It's about cooking for what you like. It's not an exact science. It's take the ingredients and make it yours. Okay, so then we'll let that, you want the pecans to cook more than the cranberries. Because if you add the cranberries too soon, they're going to get really kind of hard chewy. And you don't want that. So put the pecans in and let them cook a little. Then um, we're going to cut the sage. We're going to save. I took about six sage leaves. And we'll cut some of them and put in there and then just save a few. And we're going to save the few so that they stay that really pretty green. These are kitchen shears. And just, I cut them like down. And then just into, you can kind of roll them, and then just make little strips and cut in there. Spread that around. And see, it's just starting to simmer a little bit. And you don't want it to do too much, because you don't want to cook the leaves. Then... Add your butternut squash, all cubed up. Get that all stirred up in there. Then add some cranberries. I really like cranberries. They're also beautiful. Again, it's a fabulous holiday dish, super fall dish. So add like however much you want. Mix it up just enough to heat it, actually. You're not cooking it. The squash is already cooked. The other things, it's just to blend flavors. Mix it all up. And that really, that's pretty much it. So you have the pecans in there, the pecan, the squash, the cranberry. It's heated up, it's mixed up. It's beautiful. Then you take a little bit of your sage. If you saved over, cut that on top so it's super green. And turn it off. And that's it. That is a super duper easy, beautiful fall meal. Oh, or side dish, sorry. That's it. Oh, I have to try it. Because I try everything. And get a bite with a, with a cranberry and a pecan on it and a piece of sage.
Mm. It's a lovely blend of flavors between the sweetness, the sweet tart of the cranberry and the nuts, the sage with a little bit of butter, olive oil, butternut squash. There you go. A fabulous, very fabulous, very healthy side dish. So again, thank you very much. If you like it, share it, pass it on, give me a thumbs up. Have a wonderful, happy and healthy day. Thank you. Bye-bye.